So if you golf, you've no doubt seen this tool used to demonstrate what a putter does or doesn't do in motion. Uh, what we've actually done is we've created a very similar tool. Really the only difference with this tool is that we've raised the support bar higher up towards the grip. Uh, this is uh, what we believe is a more accurate representation of how if we were to grip these putters, where we, we would be seeing or feeling torque. Uh, so I'll just do a brief overview of this. Again, very similar to that tool. Uh, we have a peg here that's on ball bearings that spins freely. Uh, and the notch down here, uh, it's a little bit wider than the notch on the traditional tool because as you get higher up on a shaft, that shaft, the thickness of it uh, increases. So we wanna make sure that we're not snugging that up here uh, that, that might affect how the putter performs in this tool. Um, and there's no hook with this. It's just the peg that goes directly into the vent hole. Uh, it just allows us to swap out putters uh, a little bit easier and not needing to worry about screwing in hooks into, into some of these grips. So uh, that's really what this tool is here. I'll show you uh, how some putters uh, act when put into this tool. We'll start with not a torque-free putter. This is uh, not designed to be torque-free. It does not want to be torque-free and we'll just showcase how this uh, looks inside of this tool. You can see when you bring it to a dress, it flops open. And when you make your stroke, it starts to twist and turn all over the place. So I think just what anybody would expect and what we've seen a number of times before. Uh, if we take our Axis One putter, this is the Axis One Shadow Rose 2.0, and we put it into the device. You can see it spins very freely. There's almost no friction on here. Uh, we can set it down, we can bring it up. You see that it is remaining uh, squared to the target line and toe up. And we can start making strokes with this and you can see that it is remaining square and not moving as well. Um, if we grab, let's see another putter here. We can grab the PXG Allen putter. We can put it in. We can set it down, bring it up. You'll see it remains toe up, square to the target line. And we can come and start to put it in motion. And it starts to close on us, open on the way, close on the forward swing. Uh, so it is moving a little bit inside of this tool. If we grab uh, a lab putter, this is the DF3. We can put it in the tool. Again, you can show, spins freely. Set it down at a dress, square it up. And as we begin to swing, it is remaining still. Um, it's opened up a little bit. See if I can bring that up and show. It's opened up just a little bit and it seems to want to stay there as it's swinging. Um, you know, this putter, you put this in, in the revealer here, it's going to remain perfectly square. Um, that's obvious, right? They've designed these putters around this tool. So I'm not saying that this tool is any better than this tool. I'm really showing that with all the options that we have as golfers with torque-free putters, uh, there's gonna be a lot of different ways to showcase what torque-free means. Um, PXG, they have their own torque spotter tool that they can hold and make a stroke with and the putter remains perfectly square through that. So really, what are we talking about here? Um, I think as a golfer myself, these are very interesting. I think they show the differences between torque-free and traditional putters really well. Um, but once you start looking between torque-free putters, I think the conversation really shifts to the technology within those putters, right? Once you've identified that you want a torque-free putter, what makes one better for your game than the other one? And that's really, I think, what, what we wanna focus on here today and kind of talk through with the Axis One putters. Um, so we invented the first torque-free putter back in 2009, so it's been a, a long time. 
and a lot has changed from that first putter. It was a, a really interesting looking putter. Uh, materials have changed, the industry has changed, but what hasn't changed is really the design principles within the putters. Um, and we really focus on three unique features uh, that we have within all of our putters. And that's the center of gravity placement, it's the shaft axis, and it's our counterweighting technology. Um, what you're not gonna find in any other putter except for an axis one is that the center of gravity on all of our putters is directly in the center of the striking face of the club. Uh, this is a patent that we have. Uh, effectively, it makes for a much larger sweet spot on the striking face. So any off-center hits, uh, it's gonna be extremely forgiving on. At impact, there's gonna be a lot less twisting of the club face as well. And uh, of course, our shaft axis is perfectly in line with that center of gravity here, um, which really helps create that perfect balance with our counterbalancing technology. That's really here in the heel. It's what allows the club to remain toe up and square to the target line at all times. Um, but because of the center of gravity placement and the way that the shaft axis is oriented, you're not really feeling like this is a heel heavy club. Um, it feels perfectly balanced, and that's really what we've tried to achieve by combining these three technologies together. Um, and I think this is just what consumers and golfers should be looking at. What is the technology within these putters? What we see with a lot of torque-free putters out today is a lot of them tend to be center shafted putters, and that shaft goes directly into the center of gravity. Uh, the center of gravity is typically placed a little further back in the club, which means that there's a press that needs to happen. That shaft has some lean in it, which I know a lot of people uh, will press their putters in their stroke, but here, uh, kind of at what you would call neutral or setup, your hands are already forward uh, in front of where your club face is. And I think what people need to understand when you're getting into putters uh, like that is that the loft can be very inconsistent. Uh, if you set up even just a little bit more neutral, you're really opening up the loft on that club. So while a club might have three degrees of loft with the press, if you're coming into it a little, with the club head a little bit in front of your hands, you're looking at almost nine degrees of loft and your putts, your longer putts are gonna be a lot more inconsistent if you don't have that very consistent swing. So it might not be a negative for everybody, but it's something to think about when you're evaluating all of these clubs. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd show uh, our not, not a revealer tool uh, that we built here to kind of showcase what our putter does in motion uh, and talk about our technology. Uh, I think again, we're all really after the same thing here when you look at uh, lab, when you look at PXG, uh, I know there's a lot of newcomers coming into this space now um, with Odyssey, with Bet Nardi, um, even Roll, a lot of these guys that have been doing this. We're all really talking the same thing. We're saying, we believe a putter that is not working against you is beneficial for all golfers. Um, I think it's just how we all get there and the technology that we have. Uh, the Axis One isn't just a torque-free putter where the balance is around the center of gravity with a center shafted uh, shaft. It's a lot more than that with our CG placement, our counterbalancing technology, and our unique shaft that, that really intercepts that center of gravity line. So these are all things we think are, are really beneficial and actually create a very natural stroke. And what we mean by that is when you're making a stroke with the Axis One, when you're coming down to impact, the center of gravity is actually bottoming out and in line with the shaft, the grip in your hands. Uh, so it just really feels effortless. And it feels like you have a lot of control because the putter is doing a lot of the work for you uh, when the center of gravity and everything is really lined up perfectly at impact versus some other putters where the CG placement might be further back in the head, your hands forward. Uh, the, the consistency uh, of just having the same role just might not be there uh, and is something to think about. So again, 
the, the, the point of the tools, I don't think, is to say that one is any better than the other. I think it's just to say, as golfers, uh, you're going to see a lot more torque-free putters come into the market. You're going to see a lot of tools. Um, I don't know if one is better than the other, if one should be trusted more than the other. I think that they're there to show that a putter is torque-free. And from there, I think it's really on all of us to identify and understand what technologies and all these putters that are gonna help improve your game. Uh, we're biased, uh, I'm biased. I think that the Axis One technology that's unique to only Axis One uh, tremendously helps people's game, tremendously helps people's uh, putting capabilities. So yeah, uh, visit our website, axisonegolf.com. We have a ton of different models, uh, whether you want a mallet, a half mallet, uh, a blade, uh, something that's full uh, metal, CNC, stainless steel with tungsten weight and uh, aluminum bottom plating. We have a bunch of different variations. We can adjust loft and lie uh, and length for you. So whatever your specs are, we can build a putter for you. Uh, so visit our website or you could go into a Club Champion location to get fitted as well uh, at any of their locations.